Hey what's going on guys, today I'm going to do a different sort of video and so I haven't been recording in a few days I've had some problem with Windows 10 and I have to go back to Windows 8 just because, well I didn't have a problem well actually I did I tried to get Windows 10 but I couldn't find my product key so I went back to Windows 8 for now, I don't know if I'm going to stay with it I've got ages to decide, hopefully I don't stop the support for it soon but today I'm going to bring you a video that explains how to make a gaming channel for YouTube and personally I'm not a gamer and I don't have a gaming channel I just make Minecraft videos sometimes tutorials like this one but I know a lot of this stuff so yeah it's not just for gaming it could just be for one game but I'm just calling it a gaming one uh, so there are a few different sections first off is the microphones so I've listed a lot of the things that I think are good or just a lot of things that you could use so the first thing in microphones is the blue yeti this is the standard blue yeti or this one i'm not sure i'm pretty sure it's this one and i think that's a silver edition or something i'm not sure because i don't have one here and this is the yeti pro or yeti black edition i think it i think it is a uh, yeti blackout i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and then we have the yeti pro here so these are probably one of the best microphones out there, but they do cost a lot. They can cost up to like, I don't know how much it is in dollars, over a hundred pounds. I'm pretty sure it's over a hundred dollars as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's got the comparisons here, but I got another one on there. So yeah, that's the black, silver, and then there's all, just all the other ones. But, um, so yeah, these are the specifications. If you want to see them, then just go to bluemic.com slash yeti. Or search Blue Yeti Blue Microphones and then it would hopefully take you to this website or just go on Blue Microphones and then go on Desktop USB and then Yeti Pro or just one of these. Uh, I'm on just a Yeti, that one here. So next up is, this is the same one, Yeti and the Yeti Pro. This is also what I add up, the comparisons between them both. So Yeti Pro, that is probably better but it costs I think like a quarter of the price more or half the price more I mean so you might not want to get it but you could if you want to and if you really want to get all the, the best quality then yeah, I suggest you go for this but if you're on a tight budget I suggest if you got uh, under £100 then I suggest going for this blue snowball or a different microphone there's uh, another one that I'll get onto in a minute at the time of recording this and I'm probably going to stay with this for a while I'm recording my audio with the blue snowball, which is this one. There's a normal blue snowball, aluminium one, the snowball ice, and the, uh, I'm not sure what that one is, but it's a blue yeti, so yeah, you know what I mean. What I mean. So yeah, you can get them here, you get different colours, you can get pink if you really wanted to. Uh, the next microphone, and the last one, last but not least, is the Audio Technica, the Audio Technica AT2020. I haven't got this microphone or any of the others, just a blue snowball. But this is recommended good and this is $170. Not sure what that is in pounds, you can search up Google Translate or something. But yeah, it's a very good microphone as, as I've heard. Obviously I've never used it so I'm not sure if it is or not but it's meant to be good. And there's also these which I, well I'll get onto it in a minute, I'll leave this open. Next, the next thing is recording softwares. So one that I use for recording Minecraft or what I'm going to use to record Minecraft. Currently it's um, Action or Fraps, which I'll get into it onto in a minute. But this first one's the DX Tory. I keep I keep messing up my words. Why do I keep doing this? I'm not actually going to show you the programs, but you get the idea of these in these pictures. You can get the Lagrith Lossless Codec, which I recommend, but as I said, I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, it's a very good recording software. Hopefully, I can get using that. So, the previous one, I th to be honest, I think the website isn't actually just like set up good. I think it I think it could do with uh, improvements, just the looks. I think it looks very outdated, but oh, well, all you really need is a download. You don't really need to worry about this, but this is what I used to use. It's very compact, had uh, not many features, but as you can see on the right, there's, uh, it's, it's not even on now, it just went off. But it's like, it just, 
It shows you all the things that you can get. PD Vision Game Capture, I don't remember that. Windows 7, yeah. Next thing is Action, this is really good. This is what I sometimes use. And that's used for my Agario for new moments, which is currently my previous video. So yeah, it's probably gonna, gonna be my previous video after before uploading this one. But yeah, so this is a really good one. You can only go up to 60 FPS, unfortunately. I'm not sure if you can go higher than that. There wasn't a setting for it, so not where you change it anyway. But you can always search up action or just download it for yourself. Go on the download page, pages. And the next one is the Open Broadcaster software. The name obviously it makes it sound unprofessional because it's like Open Broadcaster software. Like, for one thing, you don't need software in it and it could have been called different, not Open Broadcaster software. But it's actually very popular and very good for desktop recording. That's actually what I'm using now, right here. You can see I'm recording at six. Um, I'm recording at 60 FPS on my monitor capture, which is this. At least I could check if it's actually recording or not. And it is, luckily, so I haven't been recording and talking for nothing. So you can download it here. And yeah, it's a very good recording software. Search up uh, settings for it if you want to use it. And yeah, then you can use it, obviously. And the next things are recording softwares and uh, what are they called? Uh, what are they called? Video captures. Video capture cards, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's this first one, it's called you know, an Algato, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure it is. It's quite a lot, as you can see, £120, that's actually exactly the same, or 5p off, uh, how much the Blue Yeti microphone is around my place, locally. It's like just 5p less, which is funny. But yeah, you can get it. You can get this one if you really want to. Is if you don't want to use that, um, the fraps or anything. I I knew I'd do this. I was like, come on, please don't do that. But uh, of course, I happen to do it. There's also one that I just closed. It's called how I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's like your porch or something. I don't know. It's about uh, I'm not actually sure. Let me search it. Oh, I'm not the microphone a bit. Uh, it's that. It's that. H A U P P A U G E H D. So yeah, that's a really good one as well. But I close out of that, so you won't be able to see it. But you can just search up, see an it, see an image of it. Yeah, it's a really good. Uh, well, I've I've heard it's good, but I'm not actually sure if it is because I haven't had it before. Next thing is audio editing software. So I only got two for these because there aren't really many that I know about. Just these two, really. I actually have used before. This first one is very good, it's free. There's no trial or anything, it's just free. And it's called Audacity. It's very good, I'm currently recording with it. That's what I'm using for my effects and stuff, as you can see here. Probably can't see it, but it says uh, effects right above my mouse pointer. But yeah, I'm not using this version, I'm using 2.0.6 for the noise removal, because I think in my opinion they made it worse in 2.1.1 so yeah I basically downgraded I just searched Audacity 2.0.6 and then uh, yeah I got that uh, so yeah it's very good recording software or editing software even no it's not even an editing software an audio editing software or audio recording software it's very good it comes with, comes with loads of effects and yeah it's really good the next one is Adobe Audition this one, unfortunately, you have to buy, but I've heard it's really good. I've used it before, but I don't think many people actually use it that I know of. I search up tutorials for it, and, and it just comes up with barely any of them. So, yeah, I don't think it's that popular, but I'm sure it's good anyway. But, obviously, I prefer Audacity, and that's obviously, as I said, which is what I'm recording with now. Next thing is editing software. This is nearly the most important, probably the second... Well, the third important uh, thing you need to make a gaming channel, just a YouTube channel in general. YouTube channel, yeah, I said it right, but I always say it. Say it again like I said it wrong. So the first ones here are Vegas Pro. So um, these ones, there's this first one, Vegas Pro Edit, Vegas Pro 13 Edit. These are a lot, £263 nearly. That is a lot, and that's the edit version, so basically... It's this Vegas Pro here, but slimmed down a bit. But um, this 
Vegas Pro, the one that isn't slimmed down, the one with the features that this doesn't have, most likely I guess, um, is nearly £394, so it is a lot, but yeah, if you really haven't got the money then I suggest you go for these, which we'll get onto in a minute, and obviously you can get a 30 day trial if you wanted to, I recommend you do if you haven't got anything else. There are a few more like Adobe Premiere Pro, there's all that stuff, but I don't use that. I think it's one of the more advanced things. This can be very advanced sometimes, but it's really basic. Obviously, you can use Movie Maker, but really, that is absolutely terrible. I suggest you don't edit with that unless you're just adding an intro or anything. But I, I would not recommend that. Uh, the last one of Vegas Pro is the Vegas Pro Suite. This is like an extra. Uh, it's got extra features, I guess, from Vegas Pro. Looking at the price, that is probably the case. £526, that is a lot. That's over half of a thousand pounds, so that is actually a lot. But this is just from the Sony website, and they do cost a lot on, the, on here. You can obviously get it from Amazon, eBay, or anything. And this one is Movie Studio 13. I don't use this, it's very basic, I think, compared to Sony Vegas and this. But yeah, so. I don't really know what to say about it, but it's probably one of the worst versions here. The next version, which is what I bought for around £20, on here, says from £53. So yeah, I did get it a lot cheaper on Amazon, so I suggest you do get it from there. If you don't really want it ordered, then you might want to look at somewhere close to you, locally, and see if you can get it from the shop, in the store, whatever. Yeah, but the, this is what I paid for, Movie Studio Platinum 13. This next one is Movie Studio 13 Suite, and I'm pretty sure 13 is the latest version as of now. And this one's £92, so yes, it's a lot more, but it's very good, so I suggest you go for one of these if you wanted to. As I said, you can get the 30 day trial. But moving on to the next thing is Photoshop. So the next section is uh, thumbnail editing, so basically, where you can obviously make thumbnails. This one, probably the best one ever, like currently, the best one is Adobe Photoshop, currently it's Adobe Photoshop CC, and yes, it's very advanced, but it, it's actually very easy to use once you get used to it, and it's very good for image editing, you can obviously get templates, you can get uh, custom templates, uh, so yeah, that's one of them. The one that's, I think, uh, quite a lot worse actually. I don't use it anymore, I used to use it. If you haven't seen my uh, how to make YouTube or how to make thumbnails tutorial, I use paint on that in that so you can see what it's like in the picture as well. You might not be able to see that but just there you might be able to see it. Not really zoomed in, but it's very compact, easy to use, and you can get plugins, get even more effects. And the next one I have never used this before, it's called GIMP. And I don't really know what to say about it because I've never used it before, as I said. But yeah, this is another uh, thumbnail editing software that you could use. And the la last but not least, this is the last section, is headphones. So, these headphones, there's two actually, yep. The first one is Turtle Beach. I currently got Turtle Beach X12. I've got that headphone, those headphones. But it's got a lot of static, I don't know how to get rid of it and I might upgrade soon to what I'm going to go to, but they got a lot of different headphones, you can get PC, Nintendo, all that stuff, mobile, but yeah, that you can get all that, X, uh, Z300, you just get a lot, you the full line. So that's all these for PC, uh, my one isn't on here because it's recommended for Xbox, so I, I expect it's on Xbox, but yeah, these are really good, and yeah, you might want to go for one of these, but if you got the money, then you might actually want to go for these headphones. They're called Astro. That's the uh, make Astro, and these are actually very expensive. They're around like 200, 250 pounds. There we go. For an A50, that is a lot. But for headphones, it's probably very good quality if it's that much, and it's very popular. So yeah, if you've got like a million pounds, which I expect most people don't, then I then I recommend you go for these. Or even better if you find any better, but if I get like rich sometime then, and I'm still into YouTube then, or just um, PC gaming in general, just any gaming, 
then if I get into Xbox or anything, then I'd most likely get Astro. To use your weapon, I like that. Very good idea. And they got their own versions for like, especially made for games like Halo and all that stuff. And yeah, so that's the last thing. So hopefully you found something new. We've been over microphones. All these are scroll through now. Uh, recording softwares. Uh, like recording softwares, uh, video capture cards, audio editing softwares, editing softwares, and for um, editing, photo editing softwares. I got a bit confused then because it's called Photoshop and I said photo. I was like, no, I got that wrong. Yeah, and we've been over headphones, so hopefully you found something new. If you want any help with anything and you're a bit confused with something and I'll explain it too fast or something. Then please be sure to tell me that in the comments and then hopefully I reply in at least the um well the latest in twenty four hours. Usually it's could be a bit later sometimes, but yeah, so especially if I don't get notified with YouTube it sometimes doesn't notify me, which can be very annoying. I miss like important things. So as I said, if you found anything helpful then please be sure to leave a like and yeah, tell me what you think, tell me if it helped you, if you've got anything on here. Yeah, these might be expensive, but they're actually very good things, and I closed out of that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, I keep doing that, it was the second time in this video. So yeah, hopefully you found something new as I said, and I'll see you later.